King Tets Pro, welcome back to another Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial. It's been a hot minute since I last made a video, so I just want to first tell you that this video is going to be lined up with video after videos. Also guys, be sure to check out my Selfie store in the description of this video. I currently have two packs available for purchase, so if you guys are wanting to add transitions in a matter of seconds, click this one here, which is going to include 24K drag and drop transitions for Final Cut Pro 10, Premiere Pro, DaVinci Resolve, and more. This is also M1 compatible and no plugins or any special type of installation is required for this. And I already made a video on that. If you guys wanna watch it, I'll also have it linked down below of this video. I wanna show you how to create in today's tutorial a kind of a more in-depth look at the animated freeze frame transition. I wouldn't say transitions, but more of it like effects. I think these are just absolutely well done. And I wanna show you how to do these with a little bit more in detail. From here, I'm going to press Command B because we're gonna pretend that this is a working video, right? <laughs> we're gonna have to cut this part out. But let's just say that we're working with this scene here. Okay, I wanna show you what I actually do with this. So we're gonna get rid of this. What you would do is go on to the next shot that you want to overlay to the clip on the left. So at the very beginning is what's going to be first shown or the first frame of this next shot here. So we're gonna go to the beginning. We're gonna go over at the top and click edit. We're gonna hit add a freeze frame, which is gonna be at the bottom here. Then you wanna go ahead and zoom out because Final Cut Pro 10 loves to make your clips super long. I'm not sure why, but they need to fix that. <laughs> we're gonna go ahead and trim that down and just drag it up and zoom in again. Okay, so now we have this, uh, pretty much it's like a freeze frame. Now that we have that, we're going to trim it down again. It doesn't matter where you trim it or where you move this because it's still an image. What you wanna do though, is you wanna drag this to the left. Okay, so drag it to the left and then you're gonna move the end of this clip and you're gonna trim it to match the first clip. So the, first, the, uh, the length of the first clip should end here. Okay, so now it should kind of go like this, so if I push play, nothing happens. I mean, you could, you know, you could literally leave it like this if you want, but that's kind of boring. So once it's right here, the amount of frames is what's going to allow you to uh, time it. So if you have fewer frames, it's gonna go by very fast. And if you have a lot more frames, it's gonna go by a lot slower. So I'm gonna kind of extend it out a little bit like this here, because I'm going to be adding a multiple or more of that replicating effect. So from here, we have our first frame. So we're gonna hold Option and just drag upwards and let go. And then you're gonna have your second frame. So from there, what you wanna do is make another copy. So hold Option and drag upwards again. Now that you have that, what you're going to do is pretty much offset them. I'm going to make this one a little longer by a frame maybe, or maybe even a couple more frames actually. So I think that looks good there. And from there, we're gonna select the first frame. Okay, move the playhead at the beginning. You're gonna go over to the transform tool and you're gonna add a keyframe. Now, before adding a keyframe, we're gonna to have to mask her out. So we're just gonna go over to the effects. You're gonna go down to masks and go to draw mask and drag that onto the first uh, frame, okay? So now that you have that, we're gonna click on the draw mask and you're gonna make a selection of your subject. So in this case, we're gonna select the, uh, we're gonna make a selection of this girl here. So I'm gonna go around like that. It doesn't have to be, 100% exact on this one. The better the selection, the better the effect will look, of course. So take your time. And if you think that you need to zoom in, just go over to the right here and go to 200%. And we can move it around like this to get closer to make finer adjustments or details to your selection. So I'm not going to skip this because I wanna show you exactly the full, full, you know, effect, I suppose. So we're gonna click here and we're gonna zoom out fit and then you're going to click the first frame to finish the path and you're going to drag this bottom in between you're going to see this little crosshair you're going to click and drag that to move this red bar to the bottom because if it's up here you're going to see the video beneath it which is not what we want so you drag this down so now you, you have that we're actually going to delete the other two because we can just make a copy of, from this one so once we're there we're going to disable the bottom clip temporarily so press v and you're going to select the top clip now click off of the draw mask and go back to feather so you can see a little bit better of the selection that you just made. I'm gonna drag it inwards a little bit to create a soft edge. That's what the feather does and I think that looks good there. So we're gonna re-enable the clip by pressing V, select the top clip and we're gonna hold option and let go. And then you're gonna trim this in like that. Do the same thing, hold option, click and drag upwards and let go. 
and then click and drag to trim it. So once it's there, we're going to now select the bottom clip, go to transform, and we're going to add a keyframe and we're gonna go over to position. So I'm gonna drag this to the left, perfect. So this is gonna be our starting point and we're gonna go to the end of that clip Go one frame to the left, and now you're gonna type in zero under X. So this will move it exactly back to the original location or position, so click done. So if we turn off these two clips and we push play, it'll look just like this. We pretty much just do the same thing for the other two. We're gonna select the middle clip, go to transform, add a keyframe, go to transform, go to position, go to the X axis and drag this over to the right or to the left, doesn't really matter. And then from there, you're gonna to go to the end, go one frame to the left, under X, click on the numbers and type in zero and press enter, and then click back on here and click done. So now you're gonna do the same thing for the top clip. So go over to transform, you're gonna add a keyframe, you're gonna go over to transform and go to position. We're going to move the X axis out of the screen as well. So about here. And then you're gonna to go to the end, one frame to the end, and then you're gonna type in zero and press enter and then click done. So now when we push play, you're gonna see replicating effect. Now you can extend these outwards if you want to make it last a lot longer, which is what I would personally do. So then once you make it longer, you're gonna to have to adjust the keyframe. So right click on that video and click show video animation. Click and drag this all the way to the beginning or as close as you can. There you go. So now you can see this come in a lot better. So if I push play, It'll look just like this. Now keep in mind, it's going in really quick because we don't really have that many frames to work with. But if you have a longer clip, uh, then it will look a lot smoother. But this is pretty much the effect here. And then to really get that look, we're gonna add a blur. So go over to the effects. You're gonna go over to blur and you're gonna go to directional blur. So just drag that onto that clip there. Here, we're just going to increase the amount or yeah, increase the amount like so. I'm here about about halfway we're going to add a keyframe and we're going to go to the end and just move this to zero and we're going to do the same thing so we're going to add a directional blur for this second clip we're going to increase the amount go about halfway of this second clip and add a keyframe go to the end of that clip and drag the amount to zero so this will fade it off gradually and you're going to do it one more time for the top clip and then from here, go about halfway. Of course, increase the amount. You're gonna add a keyframe, go to the end and drag the amount to zero. So now when we go back and push play, it'll look a lot smoother as you can see. And it will finish off with the first clip, which is at the top one. All right, so the second uh, effect or transition, cause this can work both ways, um, is gonna be pretty much kind of like the first one, but a little bit more animated, if that makes sense. So we're gonna be using different elements within the video clip to make it transition to the next clip. So we're gonna select this one. Again, same thing. We're gonna select, ideally I'm gonna select him first, and then we're going to select her arm right here, which might look kind of weird, but <laughs> that's the whole point of this effect. The first thing we're gonna do is select him. So we're gonna go over to edit. We're gonna go to add freeze frame. And just like before, we're gonna trim this down and we're gonna drag this up and we're gonna trim it down like that. We're gonna move it to our desired length and make this longer, something like, yeah, something like this here. And then from there, we're gonna just do the same exact thing. We're gonna go to the effects, we're gonna go to masks, we're gonna add a draw mask, and then we're gonna select him. And finish it off with the first point Make sure to always click the bottom point and drag it down until you don't see it. So now we should have just this and you can always feather it to make a soft edge. I'm gonna feather it inwards just a tad. Once we're here, if I push play, it'll look just like this. It's a little long, so I'm gonna trim it down. That looks good there. So from here, just do the same exact thing. We're gonna go to effects, blur, directional blur. We're gonna increase the amount and I'm going to drag this one from the left this time. So I'm gonna go over to the transform tool. We're gonna go to click on this here first, add a keyframe, and then we're gonna drag this to the left, okay? And if you wanna see the transparency grid, you can click this to see where it's at out of the frame. And then you're gonna go to the end of that clip, go one frame to the left and type in zero and press enter, click done. And it should look something like this, right? Super smooth 
right? The longer the the uh, clip, the smoother it will look and the slower it will animate. Now from here, I wanna add another effect. So for this one, we're gonna add her arm. So, or we can just select her as well, which could be kind of cool too, but I'm gonna select her arm this time. So I'm gonna go over to edit. We're gonna go add freeze frame. We're gonna zoom out and trim this down, try to drag it up again. We're gonna move this one above our freeze frame. I'm gonna make it this, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna make it the same uh, length. I'm actually gonna make it a little bit less. So maybe five or six frames shorter than the uh, original clip. And we're just gonna mask her arm out this time. So we're just gonna go over to masks, draw mask and add that effect on there. Now you can select another area of the same clip that you wanna use to kind of add on top of your original freeze frame. So this will make it a lot more interesting and kind of weird too. So we're just gonna select her arm and I'm gonna go over to the feather and I'm going to increase this one. Actually, I'm gonna decrease the feather a little bit. So we're gonna go over to blur. We're gonna add a directional blur and instead of it going from left to right, we're gonna change the angle to go the other way. So we're gonna drag this down like that. And then we're gonna increase the amount. We don't have to drag it too much, something like this. We're gonna add the amount here. We're gonna add a keyframe. And then at the end, we're gonna just bring this down to zero. I'm going to now select the top clip, which is her arm. Go to transform, add a keyframe. Go to transform in the inspector tab. X controls left and right, so Y will control up and down. So just click with your mouse or a trackpad and drag this up. So from here, we're gonna to go to the end of this clip, go one frame to the left. We're gonna type in zero for Y and press enter. So now if I push play, it'll look like this, super cool. So now you have your arm and then it comes all together nicely at the end like that. Now, another cool thing that you could also use is of course the transition pack that I created for your guys' uh, ease and use and uh, more of a time saver really, but it looks amazing. Instead of using freeze frames, you could always add my uh, pack. So I'm gonna add that now. So 20 transitions, KTP, this is what you will get if you buy the full pack. So I'm gonna drag the party cups first and for this to work, you just drag it in between two clips like this. Depending on the length of your clip, you might have to adjust the speed. So this one is gonna be a little bit slow. So I'm gonna press Command R and I'm going to bring this in to make it go faster. So you wanna make sure that the party cups or this particular transition is in the middle of your clips, but it's also covering the full entire footage. So right here is perfect. So if I push play and I extend this out, it'll look something like this. Super clean. And you could do the same exact thing for the weed leaf as well. So you just drag it in between two clips and you're done. So uh, literally it takes zero skill and zero effort whatsoever. Uh, check it out, link in the description. Be sure to comment down below any other video ideas. Turn on the bell notification because I'm gonna be uploading a video every single day until Sunday. And uh, yeah, until then, peace out.